Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if y'all are new here, my name is Emma. I am a first year fifth grade teacher in Tennessee and we went to school for teacher in service day one. So it is about 7.30. I just got some gas because today after school we're doing a teacher parade through our kids' neighborhoods, which will be super fun. Technically yesterday was the first day of in-service, but we met at some like random church that held like 300 people and there were only 60 of us, so we were social distancing. We just had like PD all day, so today is our first day where we get to work in our rooms and meet with our teams and everything, which is going to be so fun. I've got some more stuff in the back. I've got a lamp, a three drawer thing, and some other stuff to take to school. But like I said, it's about 7.30. I'm currently at a red light and that's taking forever. I'm about 20 minutes away from school and we have a meeting at eight with our fifth grade team to plan like all the behavior stuff and just some logistics for this year. Um, and then I have a bunch of Zooms today and I've also made a lot of progress in my classroom that I haven't shown y'all because a ton of people on my team and some of their like spouses have been helping me set up. So I will show y'all all of that. But yeah, today is Friday, July, July, Friday, August 7th. And school officially starts on Wednesday, August 12th. We have an A day that day, a B day the next day. And then kids are all online on Friday. And then we start hitting the ground running with curriculum and everything the next Monday, the 17th. So it's coming up fast. I don't know where summer went, where the long summer went, but I'm excited. So my room looks very different from the last time y'all saw. I got desks, we're still getting new desks, but we don't think they're gonna come in by the start of school. So these were just left over because one of the classrooms turned into a daycare slash nursery. So I took these, I'm supposed to have 18 kids total. Um, we're doing A and B days though. So as of now, I have seven kids on A day, which is Monday, Tuesday, then 11 kids on B day, which is Thursday, Friday. That's just cause we're doing it by last names and the last names don't perfectly split up. But I've got my three desks, and so like A day, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on B day, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or however. So they'll all be spread apart. We should be getting shields, but I think those are for the small group table. I still don't have my kidney table, but I just have this double desk thing that I put back there for now. I moved my library over here just because... These were really crowding me when I was over here in my space. So I have these books that I think look super good. This tapestry is from Tiff in the Middle on Instagram. It is super nice. It's like silky and lightweight material. And I also hung up some lights. They won't stay in this corner. I've tried double like command stripping them and everything, but I think I'm just gonna use a binder clip to hang them up there, but they make the room look super nice and cozy. I'm still supposed to get a whiteboard there. Who knows when that will happen maybe sometime in the next week because we start school on wednesday and today's friday i have this board i cut out some stars to go on the ends just because the banner doesn't perfectly line up but i have like four inch stars so i'm just gonna stick there i lined all these up these are empty they used to have like erasers and stuff in them so i'm thinking i might just put the kids individual crayons if we even got them crayons or something so just leaving those there need to find a place for this to go i hung up this little sign, it's from Altered State. I got it on sale for like $7. Those are some books that need to go. This is my little area. So I actually brought another little three drawer rolly thing, but it is 942 and I have a meeting at 10. So I don't think I'll get it before then. This back here is just a hot mess. I haven't organized it or anything yet, but just throwing all my stuff there. There's my affirmation mirror, which is not on TPT anymore for reasons, but it's there. And then I put my little cart down here and then I have some dictionaries and like Guinness Book of World Records and like year in sports and a book about space and stuff. So I really love how it's turned out and everything. There's a ton of room to walk. I'm planning on getting a carpet for back here and then also in the back of my car right now I have a floor lamp that's going to go in that corner. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the calendar at all. I don't know. I think I might put it over there by the door but it's definitely not going to stay here this is turning into my word wall which i have um a title for in my car and then that's going to turn into wow work and i have a title for that in my car too as well as clothes pins and little like placeholders for the work these are the signs that i've chosen to hang up around the room i don't know where i'm going to hang them yet i think possibly right here just since everyone will be looking at the front of the room and I also put stars on the desk with the numbers, but I think this is going to have to change 
So I'll just like give them a star with the number, their number on it and tell them where to sit because I have two classes. So my partner teacher and I have to figure that out. But yes, I really like how it's coming together. It's still not done, but it's a lot further than the last time I showed y'all. Also DIY'd this board. That's just a cork board from Michael's. That was like 10 bucks and I put Target border around it. I'm wanting to hang it back here somewhere, but we might be getting a whiteboard back there too. So I'm just gonna hold off on that. But we have some PDs today, so let me get my calendar and I'll talk to y'all about those. So I'm back in my little teacher area. I still don't have a nice rolly chair, but I ordered one. So I won't have to sit in one of these stools anymore or one of these chairs. And so we just had our team meeting from, it was supposed to be from 8 to 9, but it was like 8 to 9.30. I have a meeting that my partner teacher is actually leading, and this is all over Zoom, from 10 to 11.30. It's about Canvas getting our canvases set up and everything. From 11.30 to 12.30, I have a meeting about KIDM, which we use the language arts curriculum EL, which is very hard. Um, but KIDM is like a place where apparently all the EL resources are uploaded. And so they're editable. So like if we have to be out of school one day, like everything's online. And then I have a break from 12.30 to 2. And then at 2, I have another ELPD that's being led like just for our school. That's 2 to 3.30. Then at 3.30, the police escort is coming and we are getting to do a parade around all of our kids' neighborhoods and everything, which will be super exciting. I know none of them know me, but there's like 60 teachers, so it's not like they'll be like, oh, that was that one teacher I didn't know. But yeah, we have PDs all day today. Today's Friday. We start school on Wednesday. So um, Wednesday is A day. And basically, I'll have two classes on Wednesday, two classes on Thursday, and they're just two hours long. So I'll just do like fun introduction, games and stuff, and then a lot of procedures about COVID stuff. And so I'll teach that four times, which is actually kind of funny, but I'll have small groups at each time, which is going to be super nice. We don't have our official class lists, but I'm just so excited to get started. Um, I don't know. Can y'all see? You can't see. Well, this ugly thing has to stay here. I'm pretty sure it's like the router and stuff. And like, it's only on this side, like the other side of the portable doesn't have it, but Try to put the lights around it to make it look nice. Um, and yeah, I've made a lot of progress on my classroom setup. Like I said earlier, I just haven't been filming a bunch of it because like both my team teachers that work in this side of the portable, their husbands have been helping me. They helped me move all the desks because the desks were way across the school. And so they like loaded them in their car and loaded them in here and helped me. And so, yeah, I've just been doing a lot of that stuff, but I'm excited for these PDs today. It's a lot of like necessary stuff that a lot of us are confused about and just need to know. So very excited about that. That starts in just about 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up. And then after that, I'm going to hopefully the first one will get done early because I have a bunch of stuff in my car I want to load in and I'm like anxious to load that in and get that all done. So I have a lot of set up stuff coming from like 12 30 to 2 when i could put stuff on both my bulletin boards put the lamp in here and just get a bunch of stuff set up so i will see y'all then okay so i actually still have a couple minutes before the pd and i want to show you my outfit and see if i can binder clip those lights to stay up there so first let me show you my outfit so i'm just wearing this shirt it's like a super soft v-neck from american eagle this sweater is from the loft these pants are from j crew they're like linen and i literally feel like i'm wearing pajamas then these shoes are from the pants store last time i checked they didn't have them anymore but i'll try and link all this down below i got my badge finally and then this lanyard is from jewel grace gifts and these earrings may be from francesca's or lulu's or something like that a while back so that's my outfit and let's try and binder clip these lights real quick because I have eight minutes until the PD starts. So I'm going to try and clip them up in that corner. I literally put three command hooks up there and it hasn't stayed and it's not even pulling on them. So I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to put a binder clip up there.
it is now Saturday and I'm back in my classroom just for a little bit. Yesterday our principal emailed us and said that there was an extra kidney table in the library and so I got it and I just brought my boyfriend today so we can go get that and bring it in here. I don't know if I showed y'all yesterday but I did the wow work display. I know it's not even where right there and right here but I don't really care because like the different sizes of things we put up there are going to be different so it's fine. I also put the word wall let me flip y'all around i put the word wall up and i brought my like lamp from home i'm getting a rug today i'm measuring to see what size of rug will look good over here y'all saw my tapestry and then we actually got some school supplies delivered so all of our kids are going to have pencil pouches that's how they're going to keep all of their materials separate so i got some of those and then i got pencils colored pencils expos all kinds of things and then this is what the wow work board looks like um my people who are on the other side of the portable for me brought me this microwave but i don't think i'm going to use it i also brought in this thing right here from home i've literally had it for years and i finally put the arrow up on my noise level display um i took home last night those cdc posters and i made some schedule cards and i sprayed them with matte spray paint so i'm going to hang those up today brought Jolly Ranchers for treats for the kids. And I also got these off of Amazon, which I will link down below. Um, these are what I'm going to use for the kids' whiteboard erasers. And they come in this cool pouch, so you can put them all in this pouch and throw them in the washer. But they just look like this, and I got like 32 of them. So, yeah, they feel really nice. Actually, no, that's a lie. I didn't get 32. I got more than 32. Um, so, yeah, that'll be really good. And I've got another magnetic wand. <laughs> these magnets stuck to it. Um, but I put a magnetic wand up here in my door when I'm in here um, to keep it from closing because this door automatically locks. I will obviously pull it when we're in school so it will be locked. But yeah, that's how everything's looking today. Saturday and we start school on Wednesday. So big goal for today is to get my kidney table back there. And I'm going to work on getting the schedule cards up and getting all these CDC posters up. Hi guys, so today is Monday, it's about 6.45, and I just thought I would go ahead and extend this video into this week and just kind of make it like an in-service slash classroom setup video because I forgot to show y'all on Saturday once we got the table in there, and like last night I got my class list and there's just been some updates, so I thought I would just continue this vlog into today and tomorrow and then start a new one for the first like half week of school I guess so I'm trying to leave like when I'm normally going to leave during the school year this week for Monday and Tuesday so it's 6 45 and that's the plan for me to leave at that time for the school year so let's see how long it takes us and if there's any traffic or anything a million things to school each day but I've got some exciting things in here so I'll show y'all when I get inside okay first thing to show y'all so I got my kidney table in here. This is just an old one that someone was getting rid of from the library. And so I snagged it. It's pretty big and I'm getting a different chair than that for me, but I'm excited to finally have that. We also got our pencil pouches from the school for each kid. So I went around and put on these whiteboard erasers that I got from Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. And they gave us pencils and I put a couple mini erasers on all of them. So I've got those laid out. Um, let's see. Gave us some other supplies. I've got like a document camera. It's actually, come on. It's actually really cool. And then we got a couple other supplies. And then in here, I purchased clipboards and they came in this weekend. And then I'll show you all this other stuff when I unpack it. I also finished these this weekend and these are just like really flexible pencil things from Target. But I put clean pencils on four of them and dirty pencils on one. That's mainly for if I find pencils on the ground that I don't know who they belong to. They'll go in there. And these, I'm just going to put some of these in and put them around the room. So I might have one on top of the library, one on a windowsill, one somewhere else. Just so there's access to clean pencils everywhere. Um, and like I said, the school gave us those. Next thing I brought is my All Are Welcome Here doormat. So I'm going to go put that outside of my door. Okay, I actually ended up putting it inside the door because it can't go outside the door because the door is not tall enough to like go over it. So I just put it right here and they can wipe their feet when they come in. Another thing I got are these magnetic wands, which I'll link down below. Our doors automatically lock, so I can put it right here 
just during the day, like when we're working, when kids aren't here, so someone can just walk in and I won't have to get up and open the door for them. So those are really cool and super cheap off of Amazon that I'll link down below. Next, I just picked up 20 packs of crayons. They were on sale for 50 cents at Target. And I didn't know if we were going to be provided crayons. I know we were getting colored pencils. So I just saw these and just spent $10 on crayons. Next from Target, I picked up a couple more essentials. So I needed these command hooks because I want to hang my calendar over there. And I only had one of those kinds, so I got another. I got a thing of Advil because I get headaches a lot. And so that's just to leave here. I got double-sided tape because I ran out. I got this big thing of hand sanitizer because you can never have enough. And then I also got a Tide to go pin if like I spill something on myself. That's super good for that. And then lastly, I got a couple things from Amazon this week. My mom just threw this in. This isn't from Amazon. These are little curtain rings. I will link them down below. They are to go on my little magnetic curtain rod over there so I can hang anchor charts. And then I got a couple of books. So I got Something Happened in Our Town. Me llamo Maria Isabel. The Name Jar. Jabari Jumps and Malcolm Little. I have this shirt, it's from Shop Riff Raff. I love all of their stuff. These are just white jeans from Old Navy. They're the Rockstar Mid-Rise Super Skinny and I have like eight pairs of pants in this style and I love them. And then I just have on my Birkenstocks, this lanyard is from Jewel Grace, oh gosh. This lanyard is from Jewel Grace Gifts off of Etsy, and then I've just got my ID and my key. And life hack, I always clip my mask to my lanyard in the morning, like when I'm leaving my house, because I'm obviously not wearing it in the car, and I don't want to have to keep up with it. So clip it to that, and it works really, really well. Okay, I made it here in like 20 minutes, so it's 7.18, and I don't think I have a PD until 10.30, so I'm just going to kind of organize stuff and figure out what's going on and kind of get my to-do list done for the day. We also got our class list last night and I have 19 kids. I thought I had 18, but I had 19, which means I have to get one more desk and one more pencil pouch from the school. But on A days, I have eight kids and on B days, I have 11 kids. So I'm very excited and it's so weird to like see their names and like know they're gonna be here literally 48 hours from right now, which is crazy. But I'm going around and putting one of these on every single pencil pouch because they already have dry erase erasers, but I'm giving them a dry erase marker. Good morning, guys. So today is Tuesday, August 11th. As you can tell, I'm very tired. But today is the last day of training before school starts. And I got a new chair. No more sitting in the student chair, which I'm super excited about. Look how perfect. So yesterday we were given their pencil pouches. So I went ahead and put a highlighter, eraser, glue, dry erase, um, eraser, three pencils, and a whiteboard marker in there. And we're going to do a pencil challenge. So, like, I think I'm going to give them five pencils. But by the end of the first, like, two weeks, if they sell the five pencils, then they get a prize. So, I just did all those and put them all in this bucket for tomorrow. We also got these seat pockets so that, like, one group of kids can keep their stuff in the desk and one can keep it in the seat pocket. And these are actually, like, super nice. They're Velcro. And you get it open. They have like two pockets in there, which is super nice. These were provided by our school, which is awesome. And then last night I I brought this to put the clipboards in. And I just have like a ton of different things in here. It's like a conduct sheet and just a bunch of different copies. My mom also got this, so I might put my doorbell in it. I don't know if I'm gonna have my doorbell in my lanyard all the time. But I also got another one that has another holder and a hand sanitizer to put on my lanyard. I also wanted to talk to y'all for a second about this new bracelet that I got. So this is from the Spotlight Project. They're at the Spotlight Project Co. on Instagram. And it is this cute little like white marble like beaded bracelet. They're like hard beads. 
and this company actually employs adults with intellectual disabilities and gives them a job which I think is super awesome and so they reached out to me on Instagram and sent me this bracelet and I absolutely love it. I got it yesterday and I think it's just going to become one of my new everyday pieces of jewelry. It's just perfect and so if y'all want to check out the spotlight project you can use the code Emma15 to get 15% off your order and support a really great company and I love this. I'm so glad they reached out to me and so glad I can wear it to support them. I also apologize for not vlogging during the day a lot. The past couple days it's just that you can hear through the portable wall especially when there's no kids here and so people behind me can hear me and I don't like that. But right now it's like 7 20 and they're not here yet so it's fine. But yeah that's why the plan for today is we're doing at 8 30 like a little run through of like all of our like dismissal arrival lunch procedures as a whole school just to figure it out and then today at two o'clock we have a pbis meeting we do house systems here which is super awesome so i got sorted into my house last week and we have a meeting all about that it's just a zoom and then we're meeting with our team today and yeah the good thing about this week is that we have two first days of school so tomorrow's the a day and thursday's the b day and then friday is a virtual day for everyone and it's like our device pickup and everything and so i don't really have to plan much for this week I have to teach the same thing four times because I'll have two classes tomorrow and two classes on Friday. I mean Thursday. And yeah, so I don't have too much to plan for this week. I just need to make sure I get all my copies done and everything. But yeah, I'm super excited to finally just get in school since we've been talking about it for so long. And yeah, it should be a really good, easy, short week. So many nice people have donated so many books to me. So now I have this whole giant box to take home tonight to sort into our library colors. And like some of these books are so good and so nice. I am so thankful. So I have all of these things that are laminated that need to be sprayed with matte spray paint. So I'm going to take them out back behind the portables and spray them. So it took me a second to figure this out because I only have six kids in my homeroom on A-Day, but there's eight kids in the homeroom with the person I switch with on A-Day. So I only have a number seven and number eight coming on B-Day, but she has a seven and an eight coming on A-Day. And there was no way to like get them separated. So I think I'm gonna do three, two, one, and then the red and the black are come on alternate days. So there's no way they will be sitting next to each other. And then these are just gonna be like little island desks over there against that wall. So like seven and eight come on both days, but there will be enough space between those. And I think it'll work out. So the black is A day and the red is B day. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take out all of these little pieces of paper out of the back of their seat sacks and write their number on it. Then after that, I have to move these stars around because I already wrote the numbers on them when I thought I had the seating arrangement done. So I'm gonna take all these out and then get to work on fixing them. my TV. I haven't set it up yet, but I think I'm going to need to move these desks back because this kid is going to be like he's at the drive-in movie theater because he's going to be like this close to the TV, but it's huge. It's like 70 inches, so I'm going to plug it in and try and get it set up. And I have a standing desk that's coming from a company sending it to me, but for right now I have this double desk that I'm just going to move over here to like put my materials and my computer on and everything. So I'm pretty much done. I ended up getting a cord for my TV. My mom actually had to pick it up at Best Buy and bring it to me, but we got it. So I've got the TV up here and this. I've got the board. The desks with pencil pouches on it are the ones of the kids that are coming tomorrow. So there's no need to worry about that because they'll be far apart. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. My space back there is still a little messy, but it's just going to take some living in to get it all fixed up. And also I took those books, like I showed you, that were in that box home so that I could label them and stuff this weekend but yeah this is what it looks like and we are ready for the first day of school so that is gonna be it I'll start a new video in the morning for my first week of school vlog and I'll see y'all then